Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna be talking about basic techniques for manipulating images, which include changing the values of individual pixels within an image, as well as some other useful transformations like cropping, resizing, and flipping images. These are all very standard transformations and uh, very easy with the help of OpenCV functions. So let's uh, get started and take a look at the first example below here where we're going to uh, manipulate individual pixels. Uh, this is the uh, image that we worked with in the first video. It's the uh, black and white checkerboard that's 18 pixels wide and 18 pixels tall. So let's scroll down here a bit further and talk about how to access uh, individual pixels within this uh, image. So let's suppose we wanted to access this very first pixel in the uh, first black box and then this very first white pixel in that box. That would correspond to this element up here, zero, and this first element here, 255. So the first thing we need to mention uh, with regard to accessing these elements is that NumPy is a razor zero based. And so if we uh, just draw your attention down here to this code, we're going to print out the cell associated with the first column in the first row. So that would be the uh, zero, zero uh, pixel, and that would be this zero right up here. And then uh, this next print statement is going to print out the pixel associated with the first row and the seventh column. So that's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But we give it an index of six because it's zero based. So if you uh, take a look at the printout, you get the zero and 255. So that's printing out the value of this pixel here and this pixel here. So now let's uh, scroll down a little bit further and uh, see how we actually modify uh, pixels. So uh, in this next code block here, we're going to make a copy of the image just so we can modify it and still uh, retain uh, the original image for reference. So here we're going to modify the value of four specific pixels in indicated by these uh, four assignments here uh, from the 2-2 two, two, uh, entry to the 3-3 three, three entry. Uh, so that would actually correspond to the um, third row and third column and fourth row and fourth column, those four pixels right there. So we're going to set those to 200. Uh, this could also be accomplished by um, a NumPy slicing uh, notation. So that would just be uh, two to three comma two to three as opposed to setting all four of these assignments. But in either case, uh, if we display the image, you can see the uh, modified pixels here uh, in the in the matrix. And then of course, um, if you display the image, then you can see that these have been set now to a, uh, a light gray tone here in the center. So it's very simple to modify individual pixels, and uh, we just want to give you a, a brief demonstration of that. Uh, the next topic that we're going to cover here is cropping. So cropping is similar uh, in some sense to what we described above because it involves uh, array indexing. So let's take a look uh, at this example here. Uh, we're reading in a, a color image of this boat in the water. And uh, we're specifying, of course, that this is uh, to be read in as a color image here. And uh, we're storing that as um, a BGR format. And then the first thing we're gonna do is uh, swap the color channels on that, as we've uh, indicated before, and then uh, display the image using uh, matplotlib -im show. So there's the image. And uh, now suppose we're interested in cropping out uh, the small area around this boat. So let's say from rows 200 to 400 and columns 300 to 600. Well, the way that we would do that is simply uh, index into the uh, original array here, uh, rows 200 to 400 and columns 300 to 600, and then reassign uh, those values to this new variable called cropped region. And if we uh, plot that cropped region, you can see that's what we get. So uh, cropping is uh, very simple and straightforward. It's simply uh, it's simply indexing into an existing image and extracting uh, the region that you're interested in. So now let's move on uh, to the next section, which is resizing. And for this purpose, we're going to use the OpenCV function resize. And it takes several arguments. So there's two required arguments. The first one is the source image. And the second required argument is the um, desired output size of the image. And then there's several uh, optional uh, arguments here, and specifically fx and fy, which are scale factors, which we're going to uh, demonstrate below. And then uh, there's this uh, uh, interpolation method. And we're not going to go into those details, uh, but just know that there's several interpolation methods that you can select from. For example, when you're resizing an image up, 
uh, you're having to invent new pixels and therefore there's an interpolation that's required uh, to do that. So uh, let's take a look at uh, an example down here. In this first method, uh, we're going to use the uh, scaling factors fx and fy. And so uh, here's the call to um, the resize function. So we're passing it the cropped image. And then for the second argument, since that's required, we have to specify it, but it's okay if you specify it as none. And now that allows us to uh, instead use uh, the scaling factors fx and fy. In this example, we're just going to uh, set those to two. So we're going to double the size of this um, cropped region. And you can see that uh, when we display the result, that's, that's exactly what we get. This is now 400 uh, uh, pixels high and 600 pixels wide. So now let's talk about another method for resizing images. And this method, we're going to set a specific width and height for the image. So in this case, 100 and 200. And we're going to create this uh, two-dimensional vector here indicating both of those dimensions and pass that as a second argument to the resize function and uh, display the resize cropped region. And in this case, uh, we get exactly what we asked for, 100 wide and 200 high. Uh, but of course, the image has been distorted now because we didn't maintain the original uh, aspect ratio of the image. So that leads us to the uh, last uh, method here, which is uh, still using this uh, dimension uh, vector here, uh, but we're gonna start by specifying a width of 100 and then calculate the associated desired height while maintaining the aspect ratio. So here we're uh, creating this ratio of the desired width to the original width of the image and then using that factor to derive the desired height here. And so now when we pass that uh, revised dimension uh, to the resize function, you see that we get an image here that's uh, 100 uh, pixels wide and the appropriate amount high to maintain the, the proper relationship, which turns out to be about 67 pixels. And then uh, further here below, we're gonna go ahead and write these images to disk and then read them in. So this is the cropped region that's been resized by a factor of two. And we're going to uh, swap the channels on that here and then write that to disk and save it as uh, this file name here. And then read it back in and display it directly in the browser. So you can see how large it is here. And then we'll also perform the same operation on the cropped region prior to resizing and display that. And you can see that it's half the size as the, um, as the one that we resized. So uh, that's all there is to uh, resizing. It's uh, fairly straightforward. And um, now we're going to move on to uh, image flipping. And the function we'll be using is flip. And it simply takes the image itself as the first argument and then a flip code, which specifies how we want to flip the image. And there's three options for that. You can flip it horizontally, vertically, or in both directions. And those are simply specified by one, zero, and minus one. And so let's take a look at an example here. Uh, here we're passing in the original image and we're making three function calls uh, corresponding to the three options here for flipping and we're simply displaying them down here below. So this first one here has been flipped horizontally, this one's been flipped vertically, and this one's been flipped around uh, both axes. And then finally this is the original here. So that's all we wanted to cover in this video and um, thank you and we'll see you next time.